So I just bought World Heroes 2 Jet and I'm quite excited to play it. I recall playing World Heroes 2 when I was a kid on uh, Super Nintendo. Uh, didn't play a whole lot of it, but I, uh, I do still have some memories of the game. I don't think I ever beat it though. Don't recall any boss fights or anything like that. I remember some of the characters were pretty cool. I remember a um, um, football, American football player. I remember a uh, some chick in a jacket for some reason. I remember a pirate uh, and a guy with the uh, like tiki mask. So it's only three buttons like in Fatal Fury. I don't remember the guy with the claw though. Or the guy in blue for that matter. Yeah, as I said, I did not play a lot of it. I don't even remember if it had any special moves. I remember the pirate guy had the stage with like a haunted ship or something that's pretty cool so you can fake your stun yeah let's see here yeah i remember her uh, i don't know what this means screw it oh, that's pretty cool I definitely don't remember a cutscene like this. Yeah, there's the guy with the mask. I don't remember the other two characters though. Control seems pretty basic. I'm doing that by uh, doing a uh, down forward uh, B. Randomly try some other special moves throughout the fight. I have been trying some things, but they don't seem to work. Oh, and we're right into the next opponent. Okay, that's interesting. That's mechanical limb. That's pretty cool. I expected this to be like two rounds. And you have to like fight three opponents in the same stage, like in a real bout. That's what I expected to happen. Also, I'm not a huge fan of the stage, but then again, I'm not a fan of uh, uh, arena stages. If you know what I mean. I prefer the um, varied environments, like a, a cityscape, or a park, or a forest, or stuff like that. Oh, I guess arenas can be varied too, so that's not a very good way to put it. Unofficial arenas is more like what I what I talk what I'm talking about. Well, that 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 kick thing is very funny. What the hell? guy likes to get stoned a lot for what I see. And he beat me. Barely. So... <laughs> well, so do I reset the whole fight now, or...? Uh, okay. So the arena just changed. And so did my opponent. It's still a official arena, but it looks a bit nicer than the other one. It's got more uh, pleasant aesthetic. Also, I like the helicopter in the background, and I just got beat again. I think this is gonna be a theme. I'm guessing I have to win at least two fights out of three. But we'll see. 
fucking down. That's pretty savage. Reminds me of Liu Kang. It's kind of annoying that I don't see their names because since I don't know the characters, it will be kind of hard for me to keep track of who I fought. I'm gonna end up referring to them by their functions, like that that guy with the burning kick or the, the dude with the red hair. Because I have no idea who these people are. I don't even remember the name of my character. So this guy uses fire. I guess that's it. the static. One more. There we go. Okay, what next? I'm assuming I still get to continue since I have two victories. Bonus game, what do I have to like mash buttons against the bull? And it's charging. I avoided it. And that's it. I was supposed to hit it maybe? That guy on the right looks a little bit like uh, Hulk Hogan crossed with uh, geese. Mirror match. That, that kick of his is very, very graceful. For such a healthy dude. Okay, so this guy was definitely inspired by Hulk Hogan. And he gets mad. This guy's kind of funny. Water free again. Since there's always an opponent that uh, wipes the floor with me. Alright, so that's like what? Uh, nine opponents already? I have to go through the whole roster. I remember uh, the girls, uh, the one on the left and the one on the right. Don't remember the guy in the middle. Yeah, see her. I remember I used to play her. Though my from my recollection she was wearing street clothes. Don't know if I'm just remembering that wrong or if it was a uh, World Heroes 2 thing. I could just be remembering that wrong because again it was a long time ago and I didn't play a lot of it. Dynasty Warrior, or at least he did. Once again, not a huge fan of the arena. Yeah, see, this is another example of false memory. I remember her, I remember liking her, but I remember she used the rapier, which means that probably in my head I'm crossing her with uh, Charlotte from. Um, uh, Samurai Showdown because of the similar design because now that I saw her with the European sword it just fits her I think Rapier is also European sword. you know what I mean she's using like a long sword or a
Ok. Eve of the Final, Japan. Che okay, who's the last team? So I have to fight 12 opponents. Not all of them. Oh, it's the pirate guy? Is it the pirate guy? It's a flying ship, I'm, I suppose it should be the pirate guy. I don't remember his name. Oh, yeah, it is. It is him. I vaguely recall this guy with like... Again, I could be completely wrong. Uh, I can't say that enough. Uh, I remember him like summoning ghost ships or cannons and shit. Yeah, you see like that. The arena's a bit cooler though. Uh, compared to the previous arenas, I mean. Uh, compared to the arena I have in my memory of him, uh, that one's much cooler. Okay, so because it's a single opponent, we have two rounds now. I see the little win logo went under his uh, portrait. Very brutal. Well, that didn't go so well. Wonder if I get to continue or do I have to restart? Yeah. I wonder what that second mode is. I'm gonna have to try it. I don't want to try it when continuing because um, I'm worried it might reset my uh, progress. I've seen this done before where uh, there was some kind of uh, option. I don't remember if it was switching a character or whatever, but I remember I changed something when I continued. And that was right there and it reset my progress. I don't remember what game that was in though. I think I just switched the character or something. So far, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit disappointed. I came home quite excited to play this. But, uh... So far, it's not winning me over. The actual gameplay is pretty much what I expected, it's a very basic fighting game. Not sure if there's any like supers or ultimates, I don't see any energy bar anywhere, but... Or maybe there's like desperation moves when you're low on health, but I just don't know how to do them. Let's see... I'm gonna keep trying. I'll get him eventually. I really hope this is not all the game has to offer. I mean, this guy's cool, but he doesn't feel final boss -ish. Especially since I'm pretty sure I remember him from World Heroes 2. Maybe that was a different pirate guy, I don't know. Maybe it was Cervantes from Soul Calibur, who knows. But, um, the fact that I have those generic arena arenas, kind of lame, or uh, maybe I just got those uh, randomly. I remember the arenas being a lot more creative than that. Should I try a different character? Are there even any endings? Hmm. No. Yeah. I'll just stick with this guy. I don't know if I'm gonna turn this into a complete uh, playthrough series like I've done with the uh, with some of the other fighting games I've played. This could just be one of those games that I play from time to time with my friends. Maybe I picked the wrong game. 
I'm gonna pick up uh, World Heroes food just for the hell of it. They don't have World Heroes Perfect uh, on uh, PSN. As far as I know, there's only four games in the series, but I could be wrong. There could be one on like uh, Hyper Neo Geo or something that I never heard of. You can only play the second game and now this. But I might pick up another one of them, I guess. Again, the second game most likely. I would have fought perfect if they had it. But they didn't. So I thought since this is the latest game, it, it must be the best. But uh, to be fair, that's not always the case with a lot of games, not just fighting games, but games in general. You can't always assume that the sequel is the best one. Since it had Jet, I thought it was like a Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo situation. But the game still feels a bit sluggish. Not sure if the original felt even uh, slower, because I don't really recall. I recall it being fairly fast, but then again, it's been many years and memories aren't uh, very reliable after long periods of time. Like as I said, the uh, karate chick outfit was different in my memory. The, uh, the chick with the sword was different in my memory. Uh, actually, I uh, recall that um, for the longest time before I uh, replayed Diablo 1, I was under the impression that the Amazon, the, uh, not Amazon, the Rogue's outfit uh, was a white bikini. I didn't recall the leathery red outfit, even though I played Rogue as a kid. Um, so, uh, for the longest time when I finally uh, got my hands on uh, Diablo 1 again, uh, I was shocked to see that the costume was different than what I remember, like radically different than what I remember. So I had no idea where I got that uh, white bikini design in my head from. But then, uh, some of you watching might have already uh, figured it out, uh, then I found out where it came from. I played, uh, I got the Sega Genesis collection on the PSN uh, and uh, it included the free Golden Axe game and uh, that's where I got the outfit from. The female playable character wears a white bikini. It was exactly the design I remember it. So Somehow in my mind, uh, the rogue got crossed with the female character from um, Diablo. The female character from Golden Axe, but trying to also pay attention here. I'm gonna try and play more defensively. Maybe I should just stop jumping. Although the the reason why I jump so much here, uh, well I jump a lot in general, but the reason why I jump so much here is because it feels like I have a better chance of hitting him with my kick. See what I mean? See, the, the, my character stretches the leg further when uh, I jump. Although he also lunges forward when I punch, so... I haven't really used the C button a lot, but... I don't think taunting or playing dead is going to have much of an impact on the AI. Dead. One more hit. Damn it, I'm gonna die again. I did not die. Okay, so what's next? Is it a different opponent or do we have a uh, ending? Assuming there even is an ending. We all just get the congratulations screen.
I didn't get a chance to read all that. Okay, so it's the blue guy from the um, from the intro and the uh, demonstration. So, so he's not the protagonist. So I was playing him with this be a mirror match, and I'm dead. <coughs> he uh, kind of reminds me of uh, Ryu from um, Street Fighter. I wonder if he's the final opponent. I'm not really sure if this game uh, has any bosses. I'm just gonna assume it probably doesn't. Maybe the other mode is a, is a more traditional arcade mode and this is more of a uh, uh, tournament simulator sort of thing. Okay, kind of fast. Now I'm kind of wondering what his name is. I'll just call him Puma for now. Seems like a fitting name. The uh, interface is very, very minimalistic. Again, with no names or anything like that, and be on the screen. I don't even have a score. Just notice that. No insert point text. Although the insert coin thing could have. Uh, might be missing because I um, disabled the uh, credits display. But no, usually it's uh, the credits display uh, just doesn't show up in the corner. Uh, the insert coin thing still shows up. I finally disabled that for um, Fatal Fury 3 as well. Because it was annoying me always seeing it there with credit 00, zero but I don't really uh, notice it until, the, until I look back at the recording. Oh, Hanzo is his name. Another Hanzo. I was just talking about that in uh, my Samurai Showdown video, how there's a lot of Hanzos in fighting games. I mean, he's obviously not Haturi Hanzo. As, uh, uh, he's, uh, his name is spelled differently. But he, um, I, I believe the way you, you should spell it, and maybe the other ones are spelled wrong and this one spelled correctly, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that's misspelled. Uh, but I think it's misspelled on purpose, I think it's not supposed to be Hattori Hanzo, but rather just A Hanzo. And they just added the U there because that's how you pronounce it in Japanese. Kicking my ass very frustrating. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was no boss or character ending. You know what? I think I'm just gonna gonna give up. Maybe just do a few more tries, like one or two more tries and then just call it a day. No, oh, and I wanna check out that other mode to see what the hell that's about. But I'll probably use a um, different character for that. As if he wasn't annoying enough, now he has to pull that shit. It's 
Fast even. Wow, almost perfect. Uh, yeah, I think I might give up. I think in bail. Bail? Uh, let's just do one more. Definitely lose. Right, throw your position at me. Worse and worse. I've lost my patience. Basically a reflex at this point. I mean, it's not like he always punishes it, but when he does, wow. When he does, he takes a hit. the record I might try this game again sometime yeah do it uh, I might try this game again sometime with a different character maybe actually finish it but for right now I think I'm just going to give up and try the other mode maybe that's the proper arcade mode not this one who knows Notice he's fighting the fiery red guy. World hero left. We already saw this, so let's go with her. Forging of warrior. So let's see, is this an arcade? There we go, that's more like it, I like the environment. So is this the mode I should have been playing on? Is this like a traditional arcade mode? Or is it a versus CPU mode? Oh god, I hope it's not just a versus CPU mode. 
If it is, I'm just going to eventually go through all the characters. I don't think I'm gonna do that right now. But I wanna see all the stages. And this is more like it. I like the stage. It's pretty cool. Like the lights in the background and the castle. Sitting with the character. I wonder if they all have their own stages. It's like a pretty big coincidence that I get her on a European medieval stage. Is this supposed to be Jeanne d'Arc or something? Maybe a female version of Arthur like they did in uh, Fate? Jeanne, yeah, there, there we go. I think she is supposed to be Jeanne d'Arc. Yeah, and now I just map on again. Okay, it's a versus CPU mode. Because I don't see Jean being grayed out or anything. Let's stick to him back. I want to see what this stage looks like. Is it a football stadium? No, it's the street. But again, it still looks pretty cool. Okay, those two guys in the background are funny. See, this is more of what I wanted. Too bad this isn't the uh, actual storied arcade mode. random order, some bosses and uh, character ending and you would have been golden. I don't suspect this actually has character endings, it's probably just some text. Uh, like like we saw before. Let's see, let's try this guy in this mode. He has the same idea. No, he does not. Different idea. They look really cool. Although ironically I think I prefer his uh, tournament arena over this one because of the bridge and the two guys which is, there is more to look at but this arena is very nice too Hanzo is still uh, he's still very hard, has all the same moves the AI seems to be very similar as well I think he's a little bit easier either that or I'm just better at playing her but not by a lot faster but it's still fairly difficult anyway this is going to be the last fight I play overall I'm a little bit disappointed but I'm probably gonna pick up World Heroes 2 the standard edition as well so I uh, hope you enjoyed my uh, my journey through this game and uh, see you around <laughs>